take one. Hey, Claire. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. Good. Nice warm Saturday. Un yeah, it is. Warm. Unusually warm. Almost tropical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Sweaty weather. So I want to. Uh, speaking of the tropics, we're going to wrap up once and for all the Voynich manuscript um, research that we've been doing. We've gone so far, Blair. We've outshined every other researcher on the internet. I know. And how many do you suppose there are? Oh, there was 80,000 sites. 80,000. And they didn't have the, but we do have the lost pages. That's what makes the difference. Well, there's a couple things that make the difference. One of them was we actually found the lost pages of the Voynich Manual. There's 30 or so pages missing, and I guess we've got about a dozen. And we um, had the good sense to carbon date our missing pages. And we got an exact date. We got an exact date. I'll be right back. We have a jumpy video today, folks, but what are you going to do? Don't know why it does that. We'll figure it out someday. We had the good fortune of getting from the internet the Amazon home carbon dating kit, the C14 model. So we were able to precisely date this. Yes. Which ties in, we dated it to 1427. 1427 on the nose. Yeah, when the other carbon daters could only give us a range of, you know, 20 years either side. So knowing the exact date and knowing what we know about the pointage manual already, we've been able to really, really pinpoint its travels. Oh, it's amazing where its, it's been. origin and and what was going on in the world in 1427. I don't know where to begin except to say um, the origin is in the deep rainforests of Mexico. Yes. And uh, as you remember, this this is called. Uh, this page was identified as the River of Women. The River of Women. Was there any mention of River of Women in history of any type? Yes. Jimenez Moreno says the word Chiatolampa in Nahuatl. What did, is, what, did, what did Jose Jimenez say? Jose Jimenez says Chihuahua toward the place of women. Oh, okay, and toward that, the place, place of, of women. women. And this river of women was known to the conquistadors, and they tried to avoid it. I don't know why. Okay. And this is, if you uh, Google this, you'll find it in a book called The Medieval Heritage of Mexico. Mexico, okay. Um, so I think um, we can safely say that um, the manual, Voynich manual, was conceived and written in Mexico or um, Central America area. Yes. And we've also connected it with um, Cathars, which was a persecuted religious group in Europe, I believe. Yes, yeah, sort of a religious group. Yes, in South of France, they were uh, dualists. They believed that matter was evil and the spirit good. And they were persecuted uh, and obliterated by the Inquisition. Well, they weren't quite obliterated, I don't uh, think. Not I exactly, think right. Some of them hightailed it over to uh, Mexico. They escaped from Monsignor during the... Monsignor during the... Uh, what did they call it, those things? They did, right over the wall. Gone. The Albigensian Crusade? Yeah, they, they left. And where did they go? They went to an island off the coast of Mexico, where they established a their own um, colony of women. Yes. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Columbus gives testimony to this. Christopher? The, the, the same. Okay. In what his, did he say? In his diary, he mentions that he believed he could find Amazons on the island Guadalupe. And he saw ten of them. Now, this is how he describes them. Singularly bold and robust. Yes. Extremely stout, yet very agile. Now, Ooh. does that not, is that not what we see in the Voynich manuscript? Exactly what Christopher they look, Columbus. They look agile. 
They look stout and agile. And uh, what did uh, uh, they Nuno also say? They to be blonde. Right. Nuno de Guzma wrote that they were whiter than other women. Oh, I see. So these are the Amazons of, of, of the South. And was South it American Columbus Mexico. was looking for them on an island? Yes, the island Guadalupe. I think that would be the Paradise Island I was referring oh, to Oh, Paradise before. Island, I've heard of that. Yeah, that's the, was the home of the Amazons. Yes. And then the Spanish um, inquis Spanish people, the Spanish were very inquisitive. They had inquisitions everywhere. Being they, so, want, they had inquiring minds. They did they have they inquiring wanted, minds. No. And they also had conquering minds, or, I suppose. But they, they were searching for the Amazons because they were hoping to find um, trade routes that no one knew to the Orient. And they knew them as a strong people with many secrets, and they wanted to find out. Of course, they were afraid to go to the River of Women, so they never really did find them. No. But they did destroy Paradise Island. And the, you know, the only good thing is that the the Amazon women just uh, went deeper into the rainforest, the darkest parts of the rainforest, where they continued to live, and uh, that's where Woman Woman Wonder Woman came from anyway. Yes, I just so wish, they're still there. I wish she I wish she wore the same costume as these. Uh, yeah, but then she wouldn't be on TV. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. she might be on. No. She so, well, <laughs> she might be on Netflix. Yeah, she might be. Yeah. <laughs> Just an adolescent fantasy. Yeah, Nothing okay. to think about. All right. Yeah, more like fifth grade. Well, uh, are, okay. are you going to bring in the gypsies? Or should we... Uh, well, there's a couple things that, that we learned once we pinpointed the date to 1427. Yes. One of them was there was a death of a, uh, a king in... Mexico. Yes. King of, king of the uh, Aztecs. King of the Aztecs in that area. Here's its name. You can pause here if you need to look it up, folks. He died in 1427, either at his own hand as suicide or, which would, as a suicide, it would uh, it would uh, be part of the Cathars understanding of life. They often left uh, the body by their own hand. Okay. Or uh, he, was, he died in captivity. But either way, he died in 1427. Okay. And um, so what else happened in 1427? Maybe on the other side of the globe. Well, in 1427, the gypsies first appeared in Paris. Gypsies? Where did they come from? Romania? They came from India. Oh, they were Indian And they had been gypsies. wandering the earth since the 9th century, at least. 9th century. And they were the ones... Oh, 600 that, years. And, and as Mr. Singh says on his website, they spoke a, a language, Landa. Landa Kochi. And uh, it was like bird song. It was the earliest language. Uh, much of it was unwritten, but but the uh, language of the Voynich may have come that's from it. there. That's interesting. There's the name of the language down there, Landa Kochi. So the gypsies must have made it to Mexico and South America, and uh, either taught the Amazons the language, or learned their language and put it into writing. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that they learned their language. I think so, too. I'm thinking what happened was the, um, the first band of Indian gypsies were in um, the Amazonian Cathar country in, in, the, in the rainforest. And when they heard of the, of the uh, King Chimalpaca,